Froggy, and this week's My Froggy Stuff mashup is on Earth Day. Happy Earth Day! So we have put together some of our favorite crafts to help you reduce, reuse, recycle, and craft. From a trash can to a townhouse, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make a thermos for an 18 inch doll using old glue sticks, stickers, craft foam, and chrome duct tape. I start by cleaning off my glue stick. Now I could leave it just like this, but I am going to wrap the center with a strip of metallic duct tape. Cut a strip of craft foam, glue it to the lid as a handle, cut a circle of brown craft foam for hot chocolate, add a sticker to the front if you like, and you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make some fun things for a doll using some toiletries I found at the dollar store. I take a pump spray bottle and remove all the pieces. I'm just going to take it all apart. Now using a hot glue gun, I take the cap and I'm going to glue it to this piece here. I cut a piece off the tube, I bend it near the top, then glue it on as a handle. I glue a bead to the top of a button. To keep my lid from falling off, I glued a smaller button underneath. I glue a jewel onto a smaller button and glue it to the base. And now I have a blender. Now I'm going to take the top off of this bottle and pull all the pieces apart. I glue on the top from a spray bottle. I take a toothbrush traveling case, remove the bottom, then I glue it back onto the case. I glue the tops onto the case. I take a Q-tip, cut off the ends, wrap a small section with string, glue it to the top. I cut the loop off of the back of a silver button, glue the loop onto the top. I thread the string through the loop and down the back. I glue buttons and beads to the front and back. And now I have a cute little sewing machine. You can also use a toothbrush traveling case to make a mailbox. Just add some popsicle sticks and a bottle cap. I painted one of my popsicle sticks white and trimmed off the end. I glued the case to the popsicle stick, added a few more cut pieces for detail, stacked and glued bottle caps for height. I glued the popsicle stick to the bottle caps. Add some greenery around the base and cut some red foam for a flag and you're done. Happy crafting! Now for those of you who want a more crafty doll bed, here is another choice. Um, I'm using a cereal box, four pencils, extra cardboard, some fancy duct tape, uh, fabric, and some pillow fluff. The first thing I'm going to do is cover my pencils in duct tape. Using the spare cardboard, I'm going to trace out a headboard and a footboard. Then I'm going to cover them in duct tape. You can choose to use fabric or paper or whatever else, but I'm just going to use duct tape because it's easy and it's fast. Take a piece of material big enough to have excess around the sides of your cereal box and secure it with duct tape. After you've gone around three sides of the box, stuff the last side with a little bit of pillow fluff. And I'm going to use a spoon to get it all the way to the back to those hard to reach places. Once you have it nice and fluffed, just go ahead and tape up that last open side. Now we can put it all together. Attach your headboard. Now 
the footboard. The legs. And then go all the way around one more time with your fun tape to clean it up. And then you're done. Happy crafting! I'm going to make a house for a mini doll using old board books. If you don't have some laying around the house, try the Goodwill, secondhand stores, and thrift shops. I use a pair of scissors to score the center so I can pull the pages apart. I cover the pages with scrapbook paper. I use pictures cut out of magazines for added detail. And then I do the same thing to the back side, only this time I'm decorating it like the outside of a building. After I've made two, I can fit them together to make a box. I glue on scrapbook paper to connect one of the open corners. I glue my box onto a piece of cardboard, but I leave one side unglued so that I can open it and close it. To make a roof, I cut a piece of cardboard with two triangles on the side and fold them up. I fold a piece of scrapbook paper in half and glue it on top. You can make more than one and glue them together, stack them, decorate them, furnish them, and create your own little community. On a side note, cardboard can be a great substitute if you do not have or want to use old board books. It will also allow you to make this project for a larger doll. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'm going to make a trash can for a doll using plastic water bottles, a grocery bag, tape, craft paint, and glue. I start by removing the label from a water bottle. Trim off the top, begin painting the inside with craft paint. For the areas that are hard to reach, I found it a little easier to pour the paint in and then just move the container. Allow it to dry between coats, then continue painting. Painting on the inside reduces the chances of scratching off the paint and gives a nice new shiny trash can. But we would like ours to look a little bit worn, so we paint a thin coat on the outside, then we lightly dry brush it with black paint. Cut the bottom off of another water bottle, cut a small strip off of the water bottle to make a handle. Glue it on top, paint it, then place it on top of the trash can. Cut a rectangle out of a plastic bag, fold it, and tape the ends together to make a tube. Tie one of the ends closed, then place it into the trash can to be the bag. Turn another bag inside out, then stuff it with scraps of paper. Tie the other end so the dolls have something to put in their new trash cans. Or paint a bottle blue. Once dried, turn it over. Glue on beads to make a barrel. And you're done. Happy crafting! For joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye